Hey everyone, my name is Emily Crosby. I'm one of the student pastors at the Orchard Tupelo. Uh, excited to share with you today um, something that I've been reading through this past week. Um, hoping that you all are doing well, that you've not gone uh, stir crazy yet. Maybe you found a new hobby um, during this time of being at home more than we're used to. Uh, maybe you found a new hobby with your kids. Uh, maybe you've been reading scripture and the Lord has been uh, revealing new things to you. Um, whatever that looks like, uh, we are praying for you. Um, you're on our hearts uh, daily and we just want you to know that we love you and we care a lot about you um, and we're thinking of you. Uh, I want to share with you this morning something that comes from Psalm 123. Um, I came across this the other day reading and um, the way that it played out for me after reading it, um, I was just kind of really struck with, um, you know, I, I really need to be dependent on God. Um, there's a lot of things, uh, especially during this time, it's, it's been weird and it's just an uncertain time. Um, and a, a lot during this time, I have not been as dependent on God as I should be. And so after reading this, it just kind of, kind of struck me. And, um, so I wanted to share um, my thoughts with you today. So if you have a Bible or a device that you read on, go ahead and get that out. And we're going to be in Psalms 123. So I'm going to go ahead and begin reading. Psalm 123. It says, I lift my eyes to you, O God, enthroned in heaven. We keep looking to the Lord our God for his mercy. Just as servants keep their eyes on their master, as a slave girl watches her mistress for the slightest signal. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy, for we have had our fill of contempt. We have had more than our fill of scoffing of the proud and the contempt of the arrogant. And so, um, before we go a little bit further in this, just a little background knowledge. Um, Psalm 123 is one of the... 15 psalms that is labeled as songs of ascent. Um, these are called songs of, of ascent or ascent songs uh, because Jewish pilgrims would sing these um, on the way to Jerusalem to celebrate religious festivals. And so Jerusalem, um, I kind of wish I had a map, but Jerusalem was literally surrounded um, by mountains. So you literally had to ascend um, to get there and this background of Psalm 123 actually fits very well because the author um, is clearly feeling down for more than enough of, of, of scorn and contempt um, and arrogance of the world and so the author um, he's frustrated with his experience uh, as he begins to travel towards the temple um, in Jerusalem but during this, this time, he lifts his eyes towards the Lord and he begins to look upward and to, to seek hope. Sounds familiar, right? Uh, during uh, this time of COVID-19, we can relate to the author of Psalm 23. We may feel down. Um, everything around us right now seems uncertain and we feel this tension of, of this virus in every single direction uh, that we turn. And a lot of us are frustrated as we deal with um, the uncertainty that this season brings us. Um, I know I have felt, personally, I have felt a lot of um, emotions during this time that for me have been really hard to process. Um, I miss being with, uh, in community with my friends, um, with my people. Uh, the frustration of not being able to hang out with students on Wednesday nights um, has been extremely difficult. Um, I miss being able to gather on a Sunday morning and, and worship with the people that I love most. The emotions here, I think for each of us, are, are very raw and very real. And this time is rare, really, really hard. And I mean, I'm an introvert. And, and I'm feeling this tension of, of really wanting to have that connection, to, to be around people, to have some type of interaction. Um, we all have a lot of emotions that we are trying to process, whether um, it be anger or worry or doubt. Um, 
frustration, pain, sadness. Uh, it's almost like we're on this road trip and it seems like we are never going to get to our destination. But as we're in this time, I want you to know that the right response for each of us to have is to lift our eyes and to turn our gaze to the Lord, looking up and seeking hope. I mean, we've had enough pain and suffering. But in the midst of, of all of this, we look up to the one who is still enthroned in heaven. The important thing to be reminded of is, is God is our king. He is our redeemer. He is our provider, our sustainer. Um, he is still sovereign. And he alone is the only one who can satisfy our hearts. Um, he is the only one who can heal our pain um, and give us strength to live in this broken and painful world that still needs to hear the gospel. Psalm 123, I love the visual that this, this, this psalm brings. It brings a powerful illustration of how we look to God for help. Um, this visual of of servants looking to the hand of their their master or their mistress. Um, in those days, a servant would have been completely dependent um, upon his master for his daily needs. So he would have been very, very attentive to the movement of his hand to reach out for provision, uh, for grace, and for kindness. And this visual reminds me so much of, of a child, um, the child who, who reaches out to their parents to, to seek uh, their comfort and to know that everything is going to be okay. And the psalmist, um, the psalmist looks to God in this way, and he's looking upward, and he's seeking hope to know that everything is going to be okay. Even though the season may bring a lot of unknowns, um, are we like the psalmist? Are we depending on God like a servant depends on his master? Are we looking upward? Are we seeking hope? Are we being dependent on the one who is still enthroned in, on, in heaven? The one who is still our king, our redeemer, our sustainer, our provider. The one who is still sovereign over everything. And if not, what other things are we tempted to lift our eyes to instead of God? What things may be a distraction for us during this time? Is it, is it being on social media and reading what the news is saying? I'm not saying that it's not um, okay to, to be in the know. Like, it is okay to be in the know. But when that starts to consume our thoughts, that's when we begin to be dependent on, on that instead of being dependent on God. So maybe during this time, maybe be a people who, who choose to seek hope. Maybe during this time, we, we start to look upward. We begin to sin. We begin to look upward to God, who is the provider of our hope. And may we encourage others to come alongside of us to continue looking to the one who is the redeemer of all things. Let's pray. God, during this time, would you um, calm our hearts, um, steady our pace. God, may we not go before you or, or be behind you, but God, may we be beside you in all things. And, and God, would you help us to um, be dependent on you? Would you help us to begin to look to you um, and begin to seek hope uh, during this time? God, would you help our uncertainty? Would you help us to know that you're still on the throne? You're still sovereign. You're still working. And you're still redeeming all things. And it's all for your glory and for, for the good of everything. God, we love you and we thank you for this time and to be able to connect virtually. Um, and that the gospel is still being spread uh throughout Facebook uh, in a time that we never saw coming, but God, you're, you're still good. You're still here. You're still moving. You're still ever present. And we love you and we thank you. And I pray this in your name. Amen. 
So just a couple of reminders before we go today. Um, if you want to join our daily Bible reading plan, you can text read a plan, which is R E A D P L A N. That is one word um, to six, six, two, two, six, nine, zero, three, two, eight. Um, and also if you really want some great and encouraging music, um, you can find us on Spotify by clicking the link in the caption. I hope you all have an incredible week. We love you. We're thankful for you and we're praying for you. See ya.